out of this Melbourne weather. <laughs> <laughs> Freezing. We actually just come back from the uh, the caravan and camping show in Sandown. Sandown. Mm. It's actually it was a really nice day, but the weather wasn't wasn't great. Look, it's very overcast. Typical Melbourne weather. No, it was a bit grey and gloomy and cold, but we survived and we had a great day actually. We um, met a lot of people. Actually, let's bring you back. We started at our local market and I didn't, I didn't bring the honey oh, in. I'll go and, go and get it. Okay, hold I've got to show you, show you this for five. Let's get wine. Hmm. All right, so we went to our local market here oh, shit. in Cheltenham and... <laughs> You're right, babe? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, there's a farmer's market here and, and we've never been there. But anyway, we're walking along and someone goes to me, ah, oh, is Troy here? And I'm like... Yeah, it's a guy I grew up with. Um, uh, his father and my, and King Billy, actually were in, in the army together. And uh, they were very close mates and I'd grown up with him and you know he follows our journey and stuff, which is great. But they've got a fantastic little farm down in uh, Rawson in Victoria, which is a beautiful spot in Gippsland. And uh, they have a blueberry farm down there and he's just started doing some honey. So he's given us this honey and I said, mate, I'll put it on our channel. I haven't tried it yet, so we can't give you an honest review on what it actually tastes like, but... It's not blueberry honey. No. Okay, he told me that. It's not blueberry no. honey. It's just the bees that pollinate the blueberries are what he uses That's to right. pollinate. So it's a win-win for their farm because it actually promotes growth on their blueberries and it also promotes honey mm -hmm. as well. So I, I mean, I haven't even smelt it, but yeah, it's not, it smells really nice and sweet. Mm. Yeah. Any sort of honey that's produced locally is the bees' yeah. knees. <laughs> Pardon the no, pun. No pun intended. <laughs> so, um, so there you go, Mundara blueberries, pure honey. Yeah, from Mundara in yeah. Mundara in Victoria. Um, so that's from Joel at Thanks, Mundara Joel. blueberries, and we were going to buy. He was selling blueberry plants and also frozen blueberries, but we have a blueberry plant at the farm already, so we didn't get one of those. And we could have got some frozen blueberries, but we're going away on the cruise tomorrow. So the next farmer's market, we'll, we'll try and get there yeah, and, we'll drop and stock in and up. See yeah, thanks very much, Joel. Keep up the good work, mate. And it was actually <laughs> great to catch up. All right, today. so we went to the farmer's market and then we headed over to Sandown Racecourse for the Melbourne Caravan and Camping Show. And the idea of going there today was to look at what Great Aussie have done with their caravans since we bought this one 12 months ago. Mm. And also because we went to one of the camping shows in Queensland recently, we've started to fall in love with the 22 foot six caravans with the rear club lounge. So we really wanted to see what Great Aussie's caravan looks like. And we got a taste of that today, but yeah, it's really good. <laughs> foot six great Aussie <coughs> caravan the one that we've been looking at so if you remember we went to Queensland a couple of months ago and we had a look at some rear club lounge caravans we wanted to see what great Aussie have and I'm pretty excited so I got a couple of things here I mean the washing machines inside but we would still probably look to put that outside if we got this but I love this look at that uh, 
That's some serious storage. Plenty of pantry space. That's awesome. We like the kitchen on the awning side. So it starts at 93,000. Like, that's, that's, so that's the gravity. That's the middle range, I think. Mm. It's not fully off-road, this one. No. But not a bad little car, uh, caravan. Yeah, you probably add 20 grand to that mm. for the off-road. We, we do like this split bathroom yeah, this... Um, toilet. So you've got your sliding door here. So you can, you know, like if I'm up early, I can go and sit out there, close this off. I can just lock it in. Yes. Yeah, so in here is your massive shower. A couple of changes that I've already noticed is this grate in the shower. It's got better, much better drainage oh, yeah. than that just little tiny hole that you've got in your shower. So that's heaps better. I'm quite happy with this toilet rather yeah, than that big well. ceramic thing. That's the thing. Nice, yeah. Yeah, and a yeah. nice big basin. That, that's exactly like our layout now. Yeah. And then we move into the bath bedroom. Excuse me, Kui. This is this is nice. I'd get rid of those side cupboards. We did that in our van. We've still got exactly the same layout that we've got. And you probably but put we get a TV. I know oh, an inbuilt one. Yeah, inbuilt's better. Yeah. So you don't have to take mm. it off and put it up all the time. Mm. Just gotta work on the price. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. What would you like for dinner, Dale? Do you want some holidays? Yeah. I also like the extra bench bench space you've got here. Do you know what that's perfect for? You put your groceries on there and then just load them straight into there. The charging station, the Journey Unknown charging station would fit perfectly right there. Good. Very good. So yeah, the 22 foot 6, John the GM was just telling us that this particular van being so large, it still tows really well because the the axles are further to the rear of the van and also the water tanks are positioned at the back of the van as well so it sort of uh, counterweights off the tow ball yeah. um, which is great to know because when you're towing you want the van to tow perfectly. John was saying the water tanks, you can access them directly behind, just undo these bolts and you can, can drop your water tank and work straight onto your water tank so you don't have to physically get right under. And then under here we have a checker plate all the way under. Oh, wow. right, look at that. That is just very neat. I love this idea, look at this. <laughs> so neat. No more pool noodles around your plumbing. Look at this. Let me get right under it. And? Got the recoveries. The whole caravan industry is actually progressing in, in a really positive way, which is fantastic for all you guys that are looking for vans, not only just for um, through Great Aussie, but for some of the other vans and the unique ways that they're doing things, their yeah. tail gates, their chassis, their, it's, um, it's a real eye opener to what uh, is possible now. And yeah. that's because it's so popular. I just think every time I go to some sort of show, I just like, wow, that's a brilliant idea. Inventive. Like it's just, yeah, mm. really inventive and just smart thinking so as an industry i think it's unreal and it's fantastic for the viewers and everyone involved that loves camping and caravanning mm. it's the go you might think do we really need to go to another caravan and camping show i've seen it all before but honestly the market changes so quickly that you need to go to see what is newer what's better what's mm. lighter um, what's more user friendly and even things like the blinds. So there's new blinds out in the market That's what I'm trying to say and there's different ways of opening opening them as well The other thing we've seen was uh, The split windows which you have already seen on caravans, but they're just mm. newer and, and better Different colors. Oh my god mm. Different colors of cupboards not just your white and your grays. 
there is some really um, vibrant colours and um, to suit everyone's needs mm. in the market. And these caravan manufacturers, if they market it really well on show day, it can make such a difference. Like I walked into one caravan and I was like, oh my God, the styling, the decor, the color scheme. It was just, I was like, I want to buy this van. Like it ticked all the boxes. And then I had the most amazing, then I had the most amazing battery system. So yeah, yeah. come on in, this is so exciting. It's not a great Aussie, but I can build it in a great Aussie or design it in a great Aussie. Look at this color scheme. How nice is this? This is like, this is fully made for earthy, neutral, the greens, <laughs> people. The greens, the beige, the golds. I don't know about this. I think these will outdate after a bit. It does look nice though, but. The gold, the brass. I just love seeing a different color other than white. Mm. I love this. These new blinds. Look at that. Look at that. They're nice. they, they're not gonna... I don't know if they're midgy proof though. They, those holes are quite big. Yeah. I reckon midges get through there. But they're better blinds than those. Um, yeah. Cool. The ones that we've got. Anyway, this one doesn't have the long pantry door that the great Aussie has, but you know, you can build that in. It has the built in TV. This is something that we want. Great. Don't want to keep taking TVs off. No. Now, look at this bathroom. Like, isn't this just the whole thing? They've decked this out so well. It looks really good. And then you come into the bedroom. Love the double windows. You got the built TV built in the side here. Mm. Access to the diesel heater. Nice bed. Yeah, so you can get changed and essentially block that out. Yeah. And when it's hot at night, you can just have that one open a little bit. Mm. I really like this. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I, I love it. And, you know, tower rooms. I mean, the, I love the layout. The layout's great. The layout. I love the decor. Close this one off. You can see, you can close that one off. You can close, close this one off. off. Yeah. It's, just, it's just so nice. And look at this bench. Have you seen an oval bench before? Makes it a lot easier to get in and out, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And then that can, and you can, that can spin around. You can eat that way, the way the couch is designed. I love these bowls. I wish I got these. Like a... oh, yeah, of course. And it gets wrong with a phone. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, the innovation's unbelievable. Like, really. Uh, initially, I was like, oh, why, you know, why do we need to go to another caravan show and stuff like that? Mm. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised uh, whilst I. You know, some, there's always things that are always going to be there, like your little shops with just, you know, your fold down bowls and all that sort of stuff. But there was some really, really good innovative stuff with caravans that I thought, wow, that is a great idea. Yeah. And you've got collective minds like thinking together and working in ways of doing diff things differently, yeah. which I think is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this caravan around Australia next year and then we will test everything and we'll see what we like, what we don't like mm. and how we can travel more comfortably on the road after. Yeah. But we've know. been openly to say that we will eventually sell this van. Um, we love how it operates and what it's for our purpose at the moment. So with Harrison and Dad, um, it suits, suits us really well having the bunks and the area that we can close off and people can get a shower and stuff like that. So it, it has actually been very beneficial, but you always upgrade it so like a stepping stone. It just sort of progresses. So we're at that phase at the moment yeah. where you want to design something that's comfortable for the whole family and for your needs. And your family changes, you know, so you've got to have... You've got to adapt mm. to that as well. You know, Harrison's not always going to fit in the bed across the... You know, he's already taller than what I am. Yeah. So you've got to adapt with the time and... And, and that's right. And he's not always going to be traveling with us. So we yeah. have to make sure that we have a caravan that fits us, you know, 24-7. Yeah. And everyone else that comes along is great for here and there. But um, ultimately, it's how we want to feel relaxed and, and comfortable. So... Yeah. 
um, yeah, we got some great ideas and uh, looking forward to, to next year. What else did we see? Oh, the trun or oh, the new um, chassis. Yeah, the chassis of the new, the new chassis that's coming out. It's actually, it's going to be, um, it's sort of offloaded to many different manufacturers. Um, but it has, it's got toolboxes and it's got, it's just the oh bee's knees. God. Actually, we'll put some photos up. Yeah, so up here, it, or here, it's a, or down here. you would have seen on some YouTubers how they've got the rear, rear bar at the back and it's got a trundle drawer and jerry can holders and stuff. Mm. This one's a little bit different and it actually has a proper space for all your tools in the trundle drawer and it's just it's just it's completely made. waterproof it's actually fully enclosed like you you pull it out and it's yeah. it's well factor it's like really that's well. a really good spot for for your tools i think it's a fantastic idea and you you might use it for other things you know yeah. if you're if you're into hunting or whatever you might lock your rifles in there or whatever it's fully waterproof well, you're not gonna have it a... and that's what we've got to think about when we're traveling next year is all the things like we throw a lot of stuff on the bunk beds mm. and we don't necessarily want to do that we want everything to have its space and mm. everything to be lockable like your fishing gear your rifle yeah. um you know we want coco's stuff to be easily accessible when she wants to go in and out to the toilet so um, yeah, I'm really excited. I, I like, you know, it would be awesome if we could design our own van and have it tailored to us. But um, yeah, that's 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 a while away. Anyway. Meet and greet next month already. Jeez. Twenty sixth of November. Yeah, it's coming up very close, very close. We'll um, happily have you guys come down to meet us and say hello, and it would be a great way for us to thank you for supporting our channel because. Um, it's the only way that we grow is from you guys. Mm. There's no one else. There's just there is just no you. Else. And us. <laughs> yeah. You and us. We've got a flight <laughs> in the afternoon tomorrow, so yeah. we'll leave it at here, guys. Uh, thanks again for your kind support and comments. We love it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, you're new to the channel, please do so because it helps us grow. Yeah. And uh, we're able to produce more and more videos. And uh, it's the channel's about you guys. Yeah. It's not about us, it's about showing you where you can go, what you can do. That's right. And we had some people, Rochelle, who's camping at Greens Lake right now, like yeah. she watched our episode and they've actually gone and camped where we did a couple of weeks ago. On so. the exact same spot. Yeah. So, and that, I'm glad that they did that because it's a ripping spot mm. to camp. So and they got good weather too. Shout out to you guys. Thanks very much for yeah. tuning in and um, giving us a DM. That's yeah. It's always good to... Um, communicate with everyone. And a big shout out to Sky and Andy that came up and saw us at the Caravan Camping Show. Hi guys, thank you for watching, thank you for coming to say Andy, hi. Andy mate, I'll definitely go fishing with you yep. and maybe out for and a hunt, hunting. that'll be great. And we're actually serious, the Big Lap is not far away, okay guys? Yeah. Like I know we talk about it but it's yeah. really not far away, we just need to get this cruise out of the way and then we can give you the all the ins and outs of when we're leaving, how yeah. long we're going for and stuff. So. Um, just stay, just bear with us. Yeah. And we don't hold it back because we don't want to tell you. No. We only hold it back because we have um, things to tidy up here before we go. Mm. Before we make announcements. Yeah. Alright, I'm tired. Bye for now. Bye.